What's happening everybody? Dave Fleming here with another Draw Reveal show. This is the Veolia Houston Open presented by Just Courts. We're going to walk you through the draw and all the big storylines and you know we always start. Ladies first and let's talk about singles and look who we have here. Paris Todd, she is a fiery competitor in singles and now that she's playing a consistent PPA schedule. She's going to keep doing damage in singles and her seed is going to keep getting better and better as she gets more and more points. But the big story here is the top seed. Look who we have. Mary Brasha is the number one seed in this event. No Catherine, no Anna Lee Waters. So a big, big opportunity for Mary. We'll see what she does with it. Also on her side is the seventh seed, Caitlin Christian, who has been playing some terrific pickleball. She too, like Paris, playing a full PPA schedule. She's made a final. Can she grab gold? We'll find out. On this side, the two seed, Leah Jansen, had an unbelievable battle with Anna Lee Waters in North Carolina. Can she get all the way to the final and grab gold? She is certainly capable. Also over here, we're in Texas. Lena Padigameta, the three seed. Could she take those hometown fans and bring them all the way there? She's from Austin, just up the road from Houston. And there's Paris Todd, the six seed. So this women's draw is different than what we're used to. Opportunity knocking for these ladies. Now let's talk about the men. And I've said it, and I will keep saying it. If Fed keeps making finals, we're going to keep finding better and better pictures of Fed and putting them up here, and no one else is going to get this spot. Six out of six finals. Unbelievable. Now, Fed would like to get some golds. He's got two and four silvers. But what a run of consistency for Federico Staxrud. Let's look at the draw at the top. Hmm. People said, oh no, there's trouble with Ben. Ben singles. Yeah, the first two events weren't great. He's won the last three. He has entered. He is on fire. He's coming off a triple crown in Cary, North Carolina. He is going to be a handful. On his half is Kwong Duong, who took the first game against him, and Christian Alshon, who also took the first game against Ben. So you never know how these draws work out. They're all in that same section. That'll be interesting to see if it follows the same path. And down at the bottom, anytime Jaume Martinez, Vic, and Gabe Joseph might match up, those are some very fun matches. We'll see if they get there. On my left, there's Fed up at the top as the two seed. And then down on my left at the bottom, young Case and Campbell's back. I'm sure the ratty hat will be on sideways. We love watching him play. We'll see if he can make and run. He's up to the 21 seed now. Good for him. And then Jay DeVillier really liked his game in North Carolina. He played one of the most impressive singles matches I have personally ever called against Colin Schick. Just tap danced all over him. Colin couldn't do anything because Jay was that good. Can he do it again in Texas? We shall see. So that's the singles. Next up, we've got mixed doubles and look what we have here. Seattle Pioneers reunion. Ben Johns is going to be playing with Etta Wright. Anna Lee Waters is not in the draw across the board. So Ben got himself a partner he's got great familiarity with and that's Etta Wright. That is going to be so much fun. Let's look at the draw. The top seed will be James Ignatowicz and Anna Bright. So it's all about the points of the team. They've got the most of everyone in this draw. So they're the top seed. Right below that, a very interesting team that's going to be fun to watch. We talked about Paris Todd in singles. She's got Zane Navratil by her side in mixed doubles. My goodness, did Deckel Barr and Tina Pisnik play terrific out in North Carolina. They are on fire. I love the consistency of Tina Pisnik with all the fire of Big D. That is a team that you do not want in your section of the draw. That's where they are. Look at what we have then is the 16 seed, the big fella, Roscoe Bellamy, playing with Megan Dazan. There is a lot of heat in those two paddles. They could absolutely pull an upset or two. And we had a bunch of upsets in North Carolina. Will that continue here in Houston? On my left, there you see them up at the top, Ben and Etta. They were so great as MLP partners. Let's see what they do in a PPA event. And I'm pointing out the 36 seed because I want to send 
A big shout out to Todd Fote. What a run he had with Maggie Brasha getting all the way to the semifinals out in North Carolina. He's got Frantova by his side in Houston. And then down at the bottom, Christian Alshon, Jackie Kalamoto. That is a very good team. They lost to Ben and Annalee Waters. We'll see if they can make a deep run. So that's the mixed doubles draw. Now let's look at the women's draw. And the team I am excited to watch play is Vivian David and Jackie Kalamoto. Viv made it all the way to the final in North Carolina with Lacey Schneeman by her side. This team is going to be a tough out in Houston. Let's look at the draw. The top seed, Rachel Rohrabacher and Anna Bright. So much firepower, and they're coming into this event with a chip on their shoulder. They did not play well in North Carolina. They want gold, and they are going to be tough to beat. Lacey Schneeman, who made it to the final, is playing with her fellow California resident, Jesse Irvin. That's a fun team. We'll see how they fare. We also have Leah Jansen and Tina Pisnick on this side of the draw. This is another perfect partner for Pisnick. Leah Jansen, all of the offense, Pisnick, the counters, the resets, keeps getting balls back. They are the perfect combination to become a winning team. We'll see if they can do just that in the Lone Star State. On this side, Callie Smith, Lucy Kovalova, back together. They played separately in a couple of tournaments. They are playing together, and because of all the points that they accumulated over the last 12 months, they still have enough to hold on to that number two seed, and that is important. Also on this side, Coop Nation is back. She's playing with Jade Kawamoto. That's a good team. Paris Todd and Hurricane Tyra Black. They took the bronze in North Carolina, so their level keeps getting higher. Man, are they a tough out. And then you've got the team I just talked about, Jackie Kawamoto and Vivian David. So that's the women's draw. Now let's look at the men's. And my goodness, look at this team. Couple of guys that live in the Austin area. Deckel Barr playing with Thomas Wilson is going to be absolute fire. I cannot wait to watch them play on the 20 by 44. Let's look at the draw. The standard is the standard, and that's at the top, the one seed. Ben and Colin Johns look terrific in North Carolina. They want to do a gold medal rampage in April on the Carvana PPA Tour. We'll see how they do in Houston. Also on their side, Brandon French and his buddy Yvonne are separated here. They made a nice run to the quarterfinals in North Carolina. We'll see how they do with new partners. And Yates Johnson. Welcome fully to the PPA with you and your brother Hunter. Yates is the four seed with Dylan Frazier. That is a very dangerous team. And then there's Wilson and Barr as the five seed. On my left at the top, the two seed, Matt Wright and Big Papa Jimmy. Big Papa Jimmy did not have a good tournament in North Carolina. They were done. They weren't playing on Friday, neither he or Anna Bright. That was stunning. Can they get their footing and have a great run in Houston? Also, at the sixth seed, Connor Garnett. He is playing with new dad. Congratulations to you, DJ Young. All kinds of firepower there. Can Garnett make a big doubles run with the big fella next to him? He's certainly capable. So lots of new fun partnerships throughout this event. I cannot wait to see how it goes. Let's look at the five storylines for this event. Number one is weekend plans. We've got four consecutive weekends where we are playing on the Carvana PPA Tour. North Carolina, then Houston, then out to California, and then, hello, Utah, will be in St. George to cap it off. That's the run we're on right now. AL Dub 101 will have to wait on the Carvana PPA Tour. Her next event, as is Catherine's, is in Atlanta. So, Ladies like Mary, I mentioned that she's the top seed in singles, can grab some gold and some medals and some notoriety. We'll see who's going to step up. The other interesting thing, as we now have had an MLP or Major League Pickleball draft, is do the teams that were formed affect the Carvana PPA Tour? Do people want to play with their new teammates or not? So that's a story we will be tracking throughout the year. This is our debut in Houston. We love being in the Lone Star State, so this is going to be a lot of fun to be down in Houston and see all the great Houston fans. 
And just a reminder, this is a traditional draw. What does that mean? We play singles on Thursday. We play mixed doubles on Friday. We play men's and women's doubles on Saturday. All of those up and through the semifinals. And then, of course, Championship Sunday. So that's what we have in store for you. We've got great coverage on Tennis Channel, on Prime Video, and of course on Pickleball TV. Can't thank you guys enough for watching all this great action, for watching this show, getting yourself ready for the Veolia Houston Open. I'm Dave Fleming. Peace.